what's up guys and today i am back with my another new video in which i am going to tell you how you can make a fibonacci program in java using bluej so this is very easy coding guys you need to just understand it i am going to make understand it and so first of all we'll write this program by our own so let's start first thing is public class fibonacci then uh, curly braces then we have to write public static void main and inside the brackets we will write string args yes then we are going to make another curly braces open then we are going to in n1 which will be equal to 0 i'm going to tell you why we are doing this then n2 equal to 1 then n3 then count which will be equal to 10 and you can keep count any i'm just going to tell you that fibonacci is a series of number and that also infinite si infinite numbers are there in series so for making how many numbers you want so we are writing this count it will only print the first 10 numbers that are to be printed in the series now after writing this count equals 10 we are going to int i and put a semicolon then we are going to come down and write system dot out dot print ln and we are just going to make a space there and n1 because we are we will be printing the zero before only i will just copy this code and paste it and now we are going to print the n2 after this printing this we are just going to start the for loop in which for i equals to 2 i equals to 2 i lesser than or equal to count we will be wanting i to be incremented so this was the loop programming now open another set of curly braces and start writing n3 equals to n2 plus n1 then i'm going to write system dot out dot print ln plus n3 we have to print the n3 now after which n2 equals to n1 sorry equals to n2 and n2 equals to n3 so now guys we will be understanding this program so the first thing i have to do is let it let us see if there are any syntax errors no syntax errors are there so now guys we are going to understand uh, each and every line okay so the first one that we are going to understand is this one public class ivanaki you might be knowing that this is written to give our program a name then public static void main string args this is the main method introduced over here and curly braces are important then let's come to the main block of our code it is int n1 equals 0 so in the fibonacci series it's like 0 1 0 plus 1 it is 1 1 plus 1 it is 2 1 plus 2 it is 3 2 plus 3 it is 5 3 plus 5 8 and it keeps going on like this infinitely so this is what the fibonacci is so we will first print n1 which will be equal to 0 and n2 which will be equal to 1 before only so yes i have printed over here as you can see these two commands sister i have printed the n1 and n2 over here now the next line we have started the for loop we have also taken the count over here i told you why we have taken it because of the number of terms and then we have taken this i also so now we are going to understand the for loop programming so the for if when 
i is equal to 2 you can see for i is equal to 2 i less than or equal to count which is 10 and i is equal to 2 and whenever till the i will be less than or equal to count we will increment the value of i i plus plus okay the main thing is putting the semicolon between each block of statement you are writing don't forget to press this and there's no semicolon at the end of this program uh, or the end of this code okay now put curly braces on again and now we are going to make n3 equals so I'm just going to tell you why now here it is written n3 equals to n2 plus n1 so n3 n2 plus n1 that is 1 and then system order println we will be printing this then n1 will be equals to n2 that means n1 will become n2 and n2 will become n3 so it will get back again to this place and see if the condition is true it is not true so it will still execute n3 equals n2 so this this has become this one and this have become this so 1 plus 1 will be equals to 2 again it will go down and see that n1 is becoming n2 because in the first one n1 became the n2 so now this is the n1 and n3 became n2 so this is the n2 again it will come here and see n1 becomes n2 that is it becomes 1 and n3 becomes n2 that means this becomes this 1 plus 2 the next number is 3 so you might have got how it is working now and at the end don't forget to put this curly braces okay so now we have now let's compile it and let's try to run this program now as you can see there it is 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 2 3 2 plus 3 5 like this it is going on infinite for that we have taken the count equals to 10 so it is just showing 1 2 3 4 10 numbers okay so thank you guys for watching this video please give it a like please give it a like if you really learn something from this video and yes be sure to subscribe for more programming gaming and other tech videos like this one thank you guys